Hey everyone, Will here. Got a uh, update for you on an item that sold. Uh, this is a life-saving ring from the uh, USS Baltimore. Uh, there's been a lot of USS Baltimores, but uh, the CA-68 uh, narrows it down to a heavy cruiser that was used uh, during World War II. Uh, saw a lot of action. Uh, got like nine battle stars uh, during World War II. Uh, ended up being scrapped in the 70s. Uh, but a uh, really cool piece here. Uh, I picked this up back in July of last year. Uh, check out haul video number 178 uh, is when I first showed it. At the time, uh, I talked about putting a couple hundred on it, but uh, I got to thinking about it and uh, ended up putting $900 on it. And it sat in my store from ever since uh, July of last year. Here it is, April. Um, so from July of 2013 till uh, April of 2014. Got another cha-ching there. But, uh, pretty happy uh, with it. And I got an offer of the, uh, yesterday came in of uh, $800. And $800. I countered off for $825. You figure if they're willing to pay $800, they'd be willing to pay $825. And uh, they went for it. So it's all paid up. I got to pack it up. It's going to be a little challenging to pack, just to make sure to use uh, uh, use a lot of uh, bubble wrap, maybe some styrofoam in there. Uh, finding the box is half the battle on these big things. But uh, terrific buy. Uh, really, uh, <laughs> really makes a week when you have a big sale like that. But... Uh, you know, never be afraid to put a high price on something. It, it's kind of funny when I make these videos and I show my haul videos. I seem to always underprice the stuff when I first see it. And it takes a while to sink in that I should ask more. Uh, just about all the time when I have something that sells for a lot of money. When I first see it, uh, I tend to underestimate how much it's really worth. Um, but... Uh, it worked out good on this one. So, we'll get this packed up and uh, move on to the next. Should be a lot of good sales this week uh, weekend coming up. Uh, hopefully have a lot to show you Sunday. Uh, maybe something more along the lines of this. Who knows? You never know what you're going to find at a yard sale or flea market. Uh, this is a perfect example. Uh, so, till next time, this will the Yard Sales 5 list, and we'll talk again soon.